How's it going everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you how to download and install TeamViewer and I'm gonna be working with my buddy Sean to show you how to actually use it as well. So if you're new to TeamViewer, uh, let's just start by downloading it first of all. So I'm gonna to head to Google Chrome, but you can use whichever internet browser you want. And I'm just gonna type in TeamViewer. And here we go. Once we type it in, we can see that there's this download button here in the official TeamViewer website. I'm just gonna go ahead and click the download button. And I'm just going to click download team viewer like so. And in this case, it's asking me where I want to save the download and I'm just going to save it to my desktop like so. So I'm going to save the download there and we can go ahead and close this browser now. All right, so we have the team viewer download. What we need to do now is install it. So as you can see, it's here on my desktop. I'm just going to double click it and it's going to open up the team viewer setup window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and click show advanced settings and then click accept. Okay. And I'm just going to make sure that we're not installing anything else but the actual team viewer application. And it looks like that's the case here. There's this extension that says use team viewer meeting add in for outlook. I'm going to disable that, but it doesn't really matter if you keep that. And now I'm going to go ahead and install the application. The reason I did that is again, just to ensure that it's not installing any bloatware or adware or anything like that. And we're just getting the program that we want. So now it's been installed successfully. What we're gonna do is we're just going to say, I want to use the free version for personal use, click finish. And now we'll take a look at how to actually use TeamViewer with another person. All right, so we have TeamViewer here and we can see a few things, primarily the your ID part, which is basically your username equivalent. And then you have a password that automatically gets generated. Um, and you're, there's two ways to do this. So let's say for instance, if you wanted to give someone access to your computer, they would just need your ID and your password. So you would just copy and paste this and send it to them through Skype or Discord or whatever application you use. Uh, in this particular case though, what we're gonna do is we're gonna obtain my friend Sean's credentials so we can get access to his computer. So I'm gonna head over to Discord, which is the application we're using to communicate. And I'm gonna give him a call right now. And he's my roommate. So if he doesn't pick up, I'll be like, what are you doing? Sean? Oh, bro. Uh, hello, brother. <laughs> hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and send me your password and your user name or what's it? What's it called? It's your, called user, your ID. Uh, user yeah. ID, buddy. Your oh. ID. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy and paste exactly how you see here. Just copy that, bring it over, give it to whoever's accessing your desktop, and you have to give them the password as well. So keep that in mind. So I'll there's the closed. there's the ID Sean's given me. So I'm just going to put that into the partner ID right here and I'm going to click connect. And now he's also sent me his password. So it's going to ask for my password right here. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that password just by highlighting and then hitting control C and control V to paste. So there you go. And I'm going to log on and it's going to connect me to his machine. All right, machine. I'm going to disconnect now. Sorry about that, there's a bit of an echo. But now we're on Sean's computer here. So as you can see, he's got his internet uh, open right now. I'm gonna close uh, Chrome. And we can see he has his desktop here with all of his uh, all of his programs. Uh, we can access his files if we want to. We can click the start menu and just I'll go to file explorer and open that up. And we have full access to his machine. So it's really cool. Now, um, that's basically the gist of TeamViewer. And uh, what you can do from here is if you want to exit team viewer you want it to end the session um basically what i always do is i just sort of go up here to the top right and close the full window and there you're done the connection has ended um and just while i have you guys here and let's say you have this installed on your computer but you didn't want it to be or like a scammer put it on your computer i'm going to show you how to remove it it's really easy to do uh, but i think that's probably a good thing to cover just while i have your attention so to remove the application we're just going to go to the bottom left hand corner here this start menu and I'm just gonna type in control panel. And then I'm gonna to go to uninstall a program. Yours may not look like this. It might look like this or like this, but we're just looking for the same thing, which is the uninstall uh, a program. So I'm gonna click that. And then I'm going to scroll to the very bottom because it's T, so it's near the end. And here we go, we have team viewer here. I'm just going to right click and uninstall. And now team viewer, or sorry, we have stuff to finish the uninstallation. So remove settings. Yeah, we're just gonna remove everything and click uninstall. So now TeamViewer is being uninstalled from my computer. Um, 
this is going to ask you for a survey here. We're just going to close this window and it's done. So yeah, that's how to install TeamViewer and that's how to use TeamViewer and how to remove TeamViewer. Now, if you're curious as to what any of this looked like um, from Sean's perspective, I'll have a link in the video below or in the comment section below and, and also in the description. So you guys can sort of see what it looks like when you have someone log into your computer. Um, so again, that video will be in the description below. Check it out. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, leave them in the description. <laughs> leave them in the comment section below. Sorry, it's been a while since I've made a tutorial. Leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. So thank you again for watching and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.